Welcome. And the quarter-final is underway. It's getting pretty serious now. John Champion here, and providing the insight for all of us is Jim Beglin. So, Jim Beglin, how do you see this one panning out? Well, I'm hoping for a real ebb and flow about this game. Now, can they really open it up? Sends it to the middle. And now the break on again. Poor challenge. Free kick given. In the box. Good individual effort, but needs to pass it now. That midfield battle is proving to be fairly rugged. Tackles have been flying in. Having the ball there. And they've lost it. Strong defending. They hold that line very well. Good opportunity for a cross here. It's well wide. Well, out of nothing, he's produced an effort like that. Shame about the end result, though. 15 minutes gone in the first half. Back it goes. Wins the ball back there very neatly. Arrives in the box. Goalkeeper takes it quite confidently. There's no one in support of him. Header away. Wide and by some distance. Well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. Possession didn't last long. out to the space on the wing the last touch I think was off the defender it's a corner drifts one in will he find the target they can try again Lifts it high. On the volley. Goalkeeper had his eye on that and saw it was going wide of the post. Well, the passing and movement was really incisive, but the finish was just a little lacking. Midway through this first half, and play has settled into a nice pattern. They really need to start looking for some space. The chances aren't going to come if they keep playing like this. And they've played for 30 minutes now. Play pushes forward then. Possibility! Slides it past the defence. The keeper comes and takes the ball.
They're building the play. Moving into the box. Oh, it must have just saved the left post. Great chance. He was completely open and should have scored. Umbia. Well, it's all very tight in that area. I think they should play a longer pass. A little bit too much weight on the pass through. Bad challenge there. Free kick given. Five minutes before half time, and it's level. Hits it well. And they've lost control of the ball. There's a need for some fresh ideas. It... There is the end of the first period. Yeah, and I think the manager has got to be very pleased with this team's performance so far. I'm sure he's just going to tell his players now, keep playing the same way, and the win should follow on. So, it's nil-nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. The second half is underway, and the sides looking to correct some of the mistakes of the first period. Difficult to imagine that this is going to stay goalless for too long. We live in hope that we'll see a goal soon. Stopped him illegally there. Through to the flank. Three waiting for that cross. There's the opener. And they've taken the lead, and their timing is immaculate. Well, he can produce a goal like that out of nothing. Marvellous right-footed shot. Well, they need a lot more urgency in that area. Could have lost it there. It was well cut out, but he has to be careful here. Building up here. A lovely lofted through ball. Safely into the keeper's gloves. And now they're turning to the substitutes bench. He got a piece of that one. He couldn't hit a barn door, let alone the corner flag. Oh, they really should have extended their lead by now. They might regret those misses yet. They've got the ball. He went down, but no whistle. No, not this one.
No way through. Tries to lob the keeper. Unbelievable. There's the equaliser. That is typical of the class he brings to the team. Really solid football. What a pass and what a way to round it off. Great goal. A goal a game now. Nothing wrong with those stats. It's through. Well, they're treating possession cheaply. Where can he play the ball to? And he's coming in. The keeper had his eye on it and saw it was going wide of the post. He's missed a great opportunity there. He was totally free and should have put it away. Will not be happy. This is a dangerous throw-in for the defence to face. They're going to make a substitution. Chance in the box. That's a foul. So, a free kick opportunity. Three waiting. Back to the last line of defence. Knocks here! They've done it! They've scored! You have to admire the way he drifted into space nicely, away from the defenders, and then unleashed a shot that was unstoppable. Well, that certainly made an impact, and the manager will be very, very pleased with that change. Chipped over the defence nicely. Makun. It's all very neat football, but time is against them now and they need to get the ball forward. Through it goes. That's way off target. Really poor effort. He should have done more with that one given he was completely free. No, it's been cut out. Yes. 
skillfully hit. All square. How dramatic. A late equaliser and time almost up. Oh, he found the net beautifully there with that trusty right foot. That's his second of the day, and he's making it look worryingly easy. So, after 90 minutes, still nothing to choose between them. It's extra time after the break. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find a winner. They just cancelled each other out. Extra time kicks off. Managers on both sides urging their players on for the breakthrough. Can they provide it and then hang on for the win? Broken free on the wing. And a header! Unfortunately for him, it struck the crossbar. And play switched across. Too long and out of play. Gives it back. Will he try and build from here? And now they try to attack down the flanks. And they come again. They've got another chance here. In the air. Thwarted by a fine save. Makun. Building it up. Still going possibilities here. They have another chance. Corner. Good play there by the defence. Oh, it's been given a bit of height. And he's having a go into those safe hands it's the end of the first half of extra time and the scores are still level some very very tired legs out there but the players are good the second period of extra time and the goalkeepers at either end of the pitch will already i'm sure be thinking about penalties oh, referee's blown for a foul seems harsh Brave goalkeeping, good anticipation, off his line quickly. Good interception, but he better pass it quickly. Returns the ball. Good tackle. There's a real lack of control here. A save by a goalkeeper who is an excellent shot stopper. It'll be a throw in. Free kick given. Well, 
well, there's plenty to do. What options do they have here? Need a good cross. That's good defending. Into the box. Oh, that's way off. I just don't think he's having the best of days by his standards, and that shot summed him up today. He's got one waiting in the box. Put into touch, the defence really working well today. Now, possibility down the flank. Good selfless running. Now a chance for a cross. There is the whistle to signal the end of the second half of extra time and the scores are still level. We now go into a penalty shootout. It doesn't matter how many times you've been in a penalty shootout, even the most experienced of players can crumble under the intense pressure. He saved it, amazing. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Straight down the middle. To the keeper's right. Right over the head of the keeper. Drives it to the keeper's left-hand side. It's time for the captain to show what he's made of. He's put it down the middle. He has hit the post! That was inches away from being a great spot kick, but he's hit the woodwork. This could be the last penalty. It's too close to the keeper. I think the tension must have got to him because that went straight into the keeper's arms. Yes, he's put it away and his team breathes a collective sigh of relief. It's down to him. He... The fans on their feet as down comes the curtain on a true drama. I'm sure they can smell the trophy now, but they need to keep themselves grounded and concentrate on the semi-final ahead. Well, what a way to finish a long, hard match. Those players can be really proud of their effort to have come out on top. That was far from easy. So all that remains is for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us. That is the conclusion of this afternoon's broadcast.